How's it going everybody? RHC here, and this video I'm going to talk about how I feel about Samoa Joe possibly coming to the WWE. Now in my first episode of my podcast style show, RHC Talks, I briefly spoke about Samoa Joe, about him um, making his return to Ring of Honor at the ROH 13th anniversary pay-per-view, and I briefly mentioned WWE, but in that first episode I mostly talked about my WrestleMania um, thoughts, predictions, expectations, and Hall of Fame. So I'll put a link in the description even though obviously all the stuff I mentioned probably is not going to happen. Well, I mean, other than the stuff that's already confirmed, but but anyways, like I said, I just mentioned some old Joe very briefly in the episode. So in this video, I want to talk about how I feel about Joe coming to WWE. Um, his Ring of Honor return is only going to be a brief one. He's only signed for five dates. So maybe he might have one more match in Ring of Honor and then be done. I doubt that there'll be any any feud where he'll become a champion again. Um, I know there was the confrontation with him and um, Ring of Honor champion Jay Briscoe. Only a friendly one, but I wouldn't expect much of it being a... Unless things change, I don't see him and Jay Briscoe fighting for the championship. And if they do, obviously, they're going to probably keep the belt on Briscoe. Or Joe will probably win the title, but then drop it. That, that's what I see, but I don't really think that we'll see that. But who knows? Things could always change. Now, as for him coming to WWE, you know what? I've been waiting for years for him to leave TNA. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed him in TNA. Along with Sting and AJ Styles and a few others, I watched TNA for Joe. And he was great there. I mean, for a big 300-plus pound guy, he could fly like a cruiserweight. That's why he was a multi-time X Division champion. I mean, he was one of the guys who made that division alongside AJ Styles, uh, Daniels, uh, Chris Sabin, uh, Loki, and the list goes on and on of, of the many great X Division champions. But when it came to being a world champion, they just, I don't know, they, they dropped the ball with Samoa Joe. He got one title reign. And after a few months of holding the title, he dropped the belt to Sting and never was world champion again. And then we had the whole Nation of Violence thing. And then had him abducted by some ninjas. Uh, recently, he was with MVP, uh, Kenny King, and and Loki as the uh, beatdown clan, which I had pretty much already stopped watching TNA by this point, but I still would follow it every now and then online. And you know what? The last couple of years now, I've been I've lost interest in TNA and. And the way they've treated a lot of their former talents, is like AJ Styles and now Samoa Joe, is the reason why I've quit watching. As for uh, signing with WWE, it would be awesome, but I really hope he stays on NXT. Now, hear me out. It doesn't mean I don't want to see him on the main roster. That'd be awesome. But not all NXT guys are going to see that you know same success as, say, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose. They're the top three, you know, the former members of The Shield. You know, you got, you know, Seth Rollins as Mr. Money in the Bank, so he could potentially be a world champion soon. Roman Reigns is going to be facing, you know, Brock, the current, you know, WWE world champion Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, so there's a possibility that Reigns could win that match. You know, things could always change. And Dean Ambrose is looking for, you know, his chance to be Intercontinental Champion. Everybody else, Bray White's done all right. They haven't done too much with Bo Dallas since Bo Dallas has been injured. Adam Rose is just, well, he's just there. But meanwhile, you got so many great talents in NXT. You have Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville, both former NXT champions. Hideo Itami, who was formerly Kenta. Uh, Finn Balor, formerly known as Prince Devitt. Uh, the current, you know, uh, NXT champion, Kevin Owens, who, who was formerly known as his real name, Kevin Steen, in Ring of Honor. And you know what? If a big guy like Kevin Owens can do real good and in um, NXT be their champion, then there's there's hope for Joe. And I think the two of them could have a could have a great rivalry. Maybe both are former ROH champions. You had Samoa Joe as a former TNA champion. Owens is the current NXT champion. So I would say in months' time that if Joe debuted, we could see some kind of feud between the two of them or. See some of him and Zane, or with Neville. 
with uh, Hit- Itami or with Balor or anyone else on the NXT roster. Um, I think the sky's the limit with what they could do with Joe. Uh, I don't know if he would ever make a main roster debut and if he'd be used right. You know, and he, maybe they could mention that, you know, because he's Samoa and have, have him in a, I don't know, he's not really related to Roman Reigns or Usos, you know, he's from a different family, I mean, he's just like, he's, he's by himself, he's not in a successful wrestling family like them, but, I don't know, maybe just reference the fact he's Samoa and say he's a lost brother or cousin or something, but I would prefer that he'd stay on NXT just for the meantime, he's uh, currently 36 years old from what I checked, so, he'll be reaching that big 4-0 pretty soon. So there's probably only so much they could do with Joe before Joe decides to hang up his boots. So I'm a little on the fence. I'm happy that maybe see him in WWE, but I feel like that NXT would probably be the best place for him. That's just my opinion. doesn't mean I don't want to see him in the main roster. It would be awesome to see on Raw or SmackDown. I feel like he could do something good with John Cena, maybe. Uh, I know he and John Cena had some history. Or do something with anyone else on the roster. I mean... I mean, who knows, as long as he's used right, I'm happy. If not, then I would rather see him back in Ring of Honor, but I feel like NXT is probably the best thing going for WWE right now, so we'll just have to see. Anyways, that are those are uh, my thoughts on Samoa Joe's possible signing to WWE. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. And as always, thanks for checking out this video. And of course, as I always say, rock on and keep collecting.